In the month of June, the Labor Department reported 28 million part-time workers. And if you're still looking for a job or you want to make some extra cash on the side, part-time work could be the best fit for you. Joining us now with some part-time jobs that pay the big bucks, Fox Business Network's Cheryl Cassoni. We might as well break down the top earners, right? <laughs> exactly. 30. I mean, you know, 8 million Americans are working part-time right now. Many of them have to. They're looking for full-time work. They can't find something full-time right now. You're going to see a lot more part-time jobs, especially as Obamacare continues to be rolled out. Now, this first job... You may or may not want this one, but it pays well. Bus driver. You got to like kids. Maybe screaming children uh, needs to be something. You got to be a little patient. 26 hours is about the average work week on this one. You've got to do the early morning shift like you and I do, the morning show shift. Uh, but you've also got to potentially do the afternoon shift as well. You can take kids on field trips or you can drive them to school. You do need a commercial driver's license for this oh, job. I so. assume a background check as well. <laughs> um, I hope so. Yeah. And yeah. maybe for this one as well, being a tutor. Yep. This is about twelve seventy, anywhere up to $30 an hour. Um, now, this could be maybe on average about eight hours a week. You've got to have minimum a high school diploma if you're going to be tutoring high school children. Of course, if you're going to be t you know, tutoring those in, in college, same story. Uh, American Tutoring Association is a great place to go to get more information about the requirements and what you need for each state, which can vary a little bit. All right. This is uh, one that you know something about, being a flight attendant. I was a flight attendant right out of college. Yeah, this is a part-time job. Now, if you work for a major carrier like I did, there I am at Southwest Airlines in my 20s. Um, yes, you can work part time. It's a full time paying job with benefits, but I only worked about maybe three days a week, maybe four at the most. I mean, that's your schedule. Now, you've got to have at least a two year degree to be a flight attendant. Um, you've got to like to travel. You can't be afraid to fly, obviously. And you've got to have a little bit of personality to do the job as well. But you're mainly there for safety, as we saw with Southwest last night. The flight attendants are there for your safety. All right. What about dance teacher? And uh, we're going to throw in Pilates yoga instructor all okay. together. All together. Why not? Okay. Dance teachers, uh, salary range fifteen thirty to twenty four fifty. Pilates yoga instructors can make anywhere from twenty to forty bucks an hour. Um, I know someone that's actually a gynecologist. She delivers babies, and she also teaches yoga on the weekends. So a lot of people do yoga, dance teaching. Um, it's for fun for them, but you can make some good money doing it. Um, obviously, you need months, maybe years of practice if you're going to be teaching yoga. Same thing for dance instructors, and especially for dance instructors. Again, you got to like kids. Most of those jobs are going to be uh, teaching children, teaching uh, little girls, whether it's ballet or dance or anything else. I'm sure you would know more about that than I would, Gretchen. But. As being a parent, maybe yep. or maybe not. Yep. Um, Cheryl Cassoni from the Fox Business Network. Thanks so much as you always. Bet.